Hi everyone, I'm Chef Eddie G from Coast to Coast Cuisine. I'm gonna prepare for you a ribeye with blue cheese and onions. You're gonna love this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut down the onion. So basically you wanna remove this outside layer of onion and you wanna get that all out of there. I've chosen a nice big onion, take a look at that. And we wanna get rid of all of these scraps. And then you cut it down in the middle. Always pinch the knife and claw the product. And basically what we're gonna do is cut nice little julienne slices out of it. So look at that, beautiful, isn't it? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute these onions. And I like to go nice and slow with the onions and let the actual sweetness come right out of them. So put them right in the pan, and all we're gonna do is nice and slow saute these. A Little bit of spice in there, nice and nice. So while that's preparing, we'll get the ribeye started. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on there, right? Extra virgin olive oil. And I like to put just a little bit of spice on there, just a little. And then what we're gonna do is put that face down. A little bit of oil on there. Rub that up. Now if you notice, this is a little bit of thicker piece. There is a lot of fat and marbling in it, but that's where all the flavor is. It is also black Angus. This is a bone-in ribeye. It is a black Angus. It's grass-fed as well, so super, super healthy. And you could tell by the marbling. Look at all the flavoring that's going on in there. And I love to put grill marks on all my steaks. So what I like to do is, if I wanted it medium rare, this steak's gonna take about eight minutes to get to medium rare. So I divide it by four, which would be two minutes. Then I'm gonna give it a three quarters of a turn for another two minutes. Then I'm gonna flip it over for another two minutes. And then the other three quarter of a turn for the other two minutes. And what that does is it gives it great grill marks. We call that the show side in the restaurant business. And there you go, you have your grill marks right on there. In a good restaurant, they'll do that on both sides of the steak also. So while the ribeye's cooking and the onions are sweating down, what I like to do is I just like to do a rough cut. You could crumble this, but that's basically what we're looking to do. And I like to keep the pieces kind of on the large side, especially for this dish. So now we've done another two minutes on that side, so that I'm just gonna slide it this way, and that's the fourth turn, if you will. So this should bring it to finish now. Put that right on the plate like that. Then we'll put some of these beautiful caramelized onions right on top of there like that. How's that look? Oh, delish. Just a little bit of blue cheese sprinkled right on top. Those nice big chunks of blue cheese. And there you have it. A ribeye with some sauteed onions and some blue cheese. And a special thanks to Z Carpentry, located in Islandia, Long Island, for letting us use their custom design kitchen. I'm Chef Eddie G from Coast to Coast Cuisine. Cooking is my passion, and I hope it's yours too. Stay hungry, my friends.